Okay, everybody, we are now joined by Marina Mabry. She, we will go ahead and get started with questions if that works for you. Um, Maggie, go ahead. Hi, Marina. Um, wondering when you found out, when you got this invite to come and, and both what did it mean to you to get to be a part of USA Basketball and what have you learned in these few days of camp? Um, I mean, I haven't been back here since I was on the youth teams a long time ago, uh, but I'm always grateful for the opportunity to come play at USA. It's always fun to play at this level with this kind of competition. Um, I feel like I always get better every time I come here. I soak in the knowledge from the veterans that have been here forever, have been legends in WNBA, legends in USA basketball. So just to get here and kind of soak in what I can from them is really the point and then just being able to represent USA uh it means something it's an honor and a privilege so I'm excited to be here and compete and uh just been playing my hardest playing my best thank you um okay let's go next to uh Howard Marina, thanks for taking the time. Always good to chat with you. Uh, I got two if I could. Um, first one, just how is uh, Dara doing? How is she handling everything? And, you know, what what has that been like just as a sister? Um, It's been tough. It's been really tough on our whole family. Uh, you know, we're a basketball family. You know, just having the Notre Dame fans out there, they love the Mabry sisters. They love the whole family. So to see someone like her with the passion, the energy that she plays with, the competitive spirit, uh, and honestly, just her talent as a shooter and as a player. Uh, it was sickening to see from overseas, but uh, everything happens for a reason. And the universe will circle back with her soon. But until now, like it's time for her to rest. And whatever the reasonings are for this, it will come to light eventually and whatever she decides to do in her path. Uh, but my whole entire family has her back and especially me. Uh, she brings this fire and this energy and this light that people don't always see on the court, but her teammates, her coaches, and of course me being her older sister. Uh, she's just an inspiration to me. And it's always been something that struck, like kind of drove me as a player. I wanted to be able to be that older sister that she had right at her disposal as one of the best players in the world that she could always talk to and and look up to and when she went down it kind of like a piece of me went down too almost because that's who I do it for so um kind of had to take a mindset switch and go out there and shine her light as bright as I can now and it became a humbling experience it's not about me anymore I understand it. And and I wish you and your family all the best with Thank all of you. it. I also just on a more technical note, just as you are looking at what you want your 2023 WNBA experience to look like, if you can just kind of share how this is going and what you are hoping to get out of what is restricted free agency right now. Um. You know, sometimes it's, I just got to do what's best for me. And uh, right now we're kind of in the works of talking about that and figuring out where I'm supposed to be and what's best for me. But um, until then, I'm kind of just trusting that God's timing is there and the universe has me. I'll be in a place where wherever I'm supposed to be, that's where I'll be. And I will shine regardless of wherever I'm supposed to be. So um Whatever team that I end up with and wherever I end up, uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to play my best and I'm going to be myself like I always am. So I'll be out there to compete this summer. I'm not sure where yet, but um, I'm excited for the opportunity that pre presents itself to me in 2023. Thanks, Marina. All the best to you. Thank you. Peter, go ahead. Hey, Marina. Uh, good to see you again. Sort of. You know, on that note, you know, what are you hoping to find in your in your 2023 team? What type of role are you looking to have? I'm just looking to win a WNBA championship. So um, I, well, I've worked on my game. Uh, I've been out here trying to become a better player every single day. So my main goal is to go out there and 
be a completely new player than I was last year and the year before and the year before that. I want to add something to my game every year and go put it on display. I don't ever want to come back as the same player. So for me, it's to come back and show everything that I've added and add that value to a championship team. What have you added to your game? Um, I think I've added a maturity level, like emotionally, being overseas in Italy. Um, my coaches there have challenged me to be more stable as a leader. Uh, I think I've added a lot of passing and um, speed to myself. I've worked on my body a lot. Uh, and then just being more efficient in my shot selection and more uh, efficient at the rim, scoring at the rim and getting to the free throw line. Uh, also post-ups. Awesome. Thanks, Marina. Rafiq? This is Rafiq with nothing but this sports talk. I just wanted to ask you, um, um, what, what, what are your overall thoughts on LeBron James surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most points in NBA history? And how does that inspire you to be like a much better player in basketball? In um, I mean, congr congrats to LeBron. That's something that everyone dreams of doing. Um, and for him to be able to go and do that at, with the grace that he does it with. Um, you know, people are always hating on LeBron. And I mean, he's the greatest of all time. He's the best player that's ever walked this planet. So um, he can have his crown, sit down. He's the king. Uh, I'm proud of him. And he's an inspiration to everybody that plays basketball because he's always out there working. Uh, the longevity that he's displayed, uh, like I said, the grace that he's handled, the hate and everything that comes with it. Um, it's inspiring, and I hope the best for him. I hope that he can play for as long as he possibly can, because uh, I'm rooting for him. Thank you so much. Jackie? Hey, Marina. Thanks so much for, for taking the time uh, this afternoon. I wanted to start with uh, a Notre Dame question, and um, obviously I, I know – you know, talking about your sister is tough and really appreciate your vulnerability. But I wanted to ask you, you know, because obviously you watch those games quite often. Um, I wanted to ask you about what your thoughts are when it comes to the growth of Sonia Citron, you know, one of your, your sister's teammates and sort of how, you know, that that tandem that, you know, your sister, Sonia and Olivia Miles and how that group is sort of, you know, bringing the program up again. Yeah, uh, I've got a great relationship with Sony. I try to talk to her all the time. Um, she's a special player. Uh, in my opinion, she's going to be a great pro. She has a pro body. She's ready. Uh, she's athletic. She makes plays. She makes detailed plays. Um, she's in. She's got her hands on so many plays that Notre Dame is comes up with when they're successful. Um, she's a great offensive rebounder. She's a great slasher. She's a good passer. She's a great teammate. Um, you can go on and on about Sony. Uh, she's a great person to begin with. Uh, you always want that on your team. You want that in your locker room. You look at the culture that Notre Dame's built throughout the years, and Sony is a perfect display of that. Um, she's worked on her shot. She's worked on her confidence. You know, she used to miss a couple, and then she might, oh, I'm not going to shoot. Now she's getting to the rim. She's being more aggressive. Um, and especially once Dara went down, she kind of, fulfilled that role and was ready. She stepped up. She understood what her assignment was. And uh, I know she's probably a joy to coach and I would love to play with her one day. Thank you so much. And we'll wrap up. Go ahead, Owen. Hi, Marina. Uh, I'm curious, obviously you and Jackie have so much history together, whether it's playing basketball, boxing, whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what does that relationship mean to you and how fun is it getting to reconnect with some of the Notre Dame teammates? Uh, I mean, I've built relationships at Notre Dame that'll last a lifetime, like to see Enrique, Jack, Bree, um, and everybody at Notre Dame. But yeah, me and Jackie have a special relationship. We played together overseas. Uh, I watched her completely transform her game. Um, and that was kind of cool to see, to be able to be alongside of that and watch her work like that. Uh, and just like, as the number one pick, it's easy to kind of like cruise and go with that. But she never did that. She was always working hard. She was always looking to see what she can add to her game. So 
uh, she was a great person to train with in the off season overseas and, and to play with. I always love to play with her. Uh, getting a chance to play with her at USA is like great. Um, she's such a selfless player. So to have her uh, not only as a teammate and a friend for life, uh, I value that relationship for sure. And hopefully one day we'll get to play together or something again. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Marina. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back here with Enrique shortly and then wrap up with Fee. Thanks.